What is going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a lower third in Sony Vegas. <laughs> Now just before I get into this tutorial, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. Now the way I'm going to be showing you how to create this lower third is going to be completely within Sony Vegas. So the first thing we need to do is make some shapes. Yes, we are going to be doing that in Sony Vegas and we will need media generators. If you do not see media generators, then simply come to view, windows layout and select default layout. Now from there you should see media generators, you want to select it and you want to come down and look for solid colour. This is where you pick what colour you want the bar of your lower third to be. So for me right now I am just going to go with a simple black and white. So I'm first of all going to be dragging on black. You will be presented with this and the good thing about this you can change a colour whenever you would like so if you want to you can create the design first and then go back to the colours after. So you can X out of this and now we're going to come to the event pattern crop. We're going to select mask. For those that don't have mask you can use the cookie cutter effect which is under video effects. Now from here we're going to select the rectangle or square mask creation tool. So just select it and we're just going to left click and drag. I'm just going to drag it out like so. I'll make it go all the way across like this. So that's what you should get and you can X out of it. You will notice you won't see a difference just yet. So what I'm going to be doing is dragging on a green color underneath. And there's a reason we're having green. So just because I'm adding green, yes, you need to add green as well. Don't worry if it looks ugly because it's a green background, of course. We will get rid of it and it's a very important step to have green. So that is the black bar I created and we need to position it and resize it. Now for me, I'm going to be using track motion. I know some versions of Sony Vegas don't have track motion. So for those that don't, you can use the event pan and crop. Now from here, you can uncheck scale about center and uncheck lock aspect ratio. That is because now we can freely position it and resize it. So I want mine to be at the bottom here and I will make it go all the way across like this and just got to position it like so. And now I'm going to X out of it. I've positioned it and that's where I want it. Now I'm going to right click here and insert a new video track. So it is above at the black bar. This time what I'm going to be doing is adding on a white solid color. I'm just going to drag and drop. So again, X out of this and again back to the event pan and crop. Or for those that don't have event pan and crop or the masking tool, you can use the cookie cutter. This time it is completely up to you. You can go ahead with a square, but for me, I am going to go with an oval or a circle mask creation tool. Now, when doing this one, don't just click and drag out because as you can see, you cannot keep it in proportion. So hold shift and drag it out. And that is what you're going to get. If you hold shift and drag it out, you're going to get a nice circle which stays in proportion. Again, now it's time to position it. So again, you can position it from the event pattern crop or if you have track motion, track motion is easier. So you can just come and position it wherever you want to. For me, I'm going to select it right here and just, just right there and I'm going to X out of this. So this is the basic layout of what we have and at the moment it's just completely still, it's boring. And now we need to add some transitions. But before we do that, I'm actually going to make this a Twitter lower third. So I'm going to drag on a Twitter logo which is a PNG file. For those that do look for logos, at the end of your search type in PNG. What this means, it's going to be no background to the image. So we're just going to drag it out. And again, as always, we need to go ahead and position it. And if you haven't guessed it yet, the Twitter logo is going to go in this white box. So I'm going to go to track motion. This time you need lock aspect, lock aspect ratio and scale about center checked. So it stays in proportion and just shrink it down and fit it into the box like I'm doing right now. And you can zoom into this box here by using the mouse wheel. And to be more accurate, you can use the arrow keys to position it. There we go. I'm happy with that one and I'm going to X out of it. Now we're missing one more thing, which is the text. But I'm actually going to add on the text after we have done all the transition effects. So for transitions, of course, we need to head over here for transitions. Again, if you do not see transitions, view Windows layout and select default layout. From there, you should be able to see transition. Now I'm going to be using the iris one. And first of all, I'm going to be starting with the circle 
and the Twitter logo itself. So I'm both gonna be ha they're both gonna be having the same effect. So I'm gonna X out of it and I'm gonna put it onto the other one as well. So now if we play it from the beginning. As you can see, that is what it will look like. And that's what I want. But as for the black bar, I'm gonna do something completely different, which I actually recommend using because it looks very nice. And we're gonna head over to the gradient wipe and you can come down here and we're gonna add on linear left right. What this means, it's gonna have a nice uh, wipe across the screen going in from the left onto the right. You're gonna get this, you can just X out of it. And if we play this through, as you can see, that is what we're gonna get. For the green screen, we don't need to animate anything, just leave it the same. If you want the animations to last longer, simply just drag it out longer. And as you'll see this time, it takes longer to come on. What I'm actually gonna do though is drag this so it starts after the circle's already in place. So if we play this through, the circle's gonna come, then the black bar's gonna come, and now we're gonna add the text. So we need to right click and insert a new video track once again, and for me, I'm gonna time it after the gradient wipe or online with the gradient wipe. So I want the text to come in at the same time. So right there, the gradient wipe is starting and I'm gonna press M on my keyboard, which lays down a marker for me. And this lets me know where I want to drag the text. And I'm also going to come across even more and find out where it stops, which is right there. So again, I'm gonna press M on my keyboard and this lets me know when the gradient wipe of the black bar stops. So now I can come to my media generators once again, legacy text, and for the text, we need to look for one which has a checkered background. So which, which whatever one has a checkered background and appeals to you, you can use it. This means there's gonna be no background to that text. So for me, I'm going to simply add on a default text and I'm gonna call, actually name this, follow me on Twitter, at Casual Savage, very simple. Now from here, I'm gonna press Control A on my keyboard to highlight all of it. And then I'm going to change the font size so it would fit in this box. Maybe at 26, 24 maybe. And it may look small now, but we will make it look better. And before we go any further, I'm going to come to the track motion and just simply position it. Now, yes, I know it's not there, just it, the black bar's not on screen just yet. So I'm just measuring it uh, with what I think is right for now. So I'm gonna X out of it. And if we play this through, the text will just appear for the moment. And that is what we're gonna get. I think it's positioned a bit too high up, so I'm gonna position it down. Heading back to the track motion, uncheck sync cursor because we want to stay there. And we're gonna select the keyframe we just created, left click, and use the arrows to position it. If it moves too much like this, as you can see, if you zoom in on this part, as you can see, it takes little steps here. And that's what we want, just like that. And we'll move it across a little bit, just like that. So now if we X out of this, and we can come back to Edit Generated Media, which is this button right here, or you can right click and select Edit Generated Media. We're gonna be back to this. And if you head over to Properties, you can choose your text color, completely up to you which one you want. And if you don't want no text color, but you want an outline, then simply drag the alpha to 0%. Then you're gonna head over to the effects and you're gonna select draw an outline. Just like that, very simple. And then we can select the color from here. If you want the same color as the Twitter logo, don't guess by doing this. You can come here and select the color picker and select the Twitter logo like that. I recommend having the feather off and having the width up and that's what we're gonna get. But for me, I'm not gonna go this route, but this is the way you can do it. I'm actually gonna have text on. It's gonna be white text, but it is going to be a different or a thinner outline. No outline actually, I prefer no outline. And I'm gonna X out of it. And to make it bigger, I'm also gonna be using track motion again. So again, select your keyframe and just make it a bit bigger. There we go. And then I'm gonna position it to the right a bit, just like that. I'm gonna X out of it. And now we're almost done. The last thing we need to do is add a transition to our text. So again, transitions. And for this one, I'm also adding a gradient wipe. And you'll see why in a minute. So if we play this through now, what I want to happen, I want the gradient wipe of the black to go with the text. See, it sort of does it there, but the black bar is too fast for it. So the gradient wipe we added on the text, I'm gonna drag it down, and I think there is good enough. So now if I play this through from the beginning, just like that, that is how we have created a lower third in Sony Vegas. Now from here, we need to render it out. 
And this is why we add a green screen. So we're just going to double click and make sure we highlight all of our video. Make sure this is set to best and full. Then just go and render it as you would normally would render a video. So right now my video is rendering. It's going to be quick because it's only a bit of animation. And changing the icon is very simple. Again, all you need to do is Google search such as a uh, Facebook PNG, save it and then replace the Twitter icon with the Facebook icon. So as you can see, mine is now done. And what I recommend doing is come to file, save as, and you're gonna save this as a project file. So you can call this lower thirds. And now if you X out of it very quickly and we open ba this back up, the projects we have just saved known as lower thirds, as you'll see, what we have just created is saved, so we don't need to recreate it over again. So again, if you want to replace the logo, just delete this and then put your logo in right here. So here is the lower third and if we open it up and just play it from the beginning, this is what it looks like, just like that. And that is how easy it is to create a lower third in Sony Vegas. I hope this video has helped you and like I mentioned at the start, if you'd like to request a tutorial then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. That's it for this video, thank you so much for watching, please subscribe, rate and peace.